Yeah, yeah. So the proxy thing is so we have Lilia, right? She's starting bot side. We see it through that ward here. If we didn't have that ward, I'd still have like some information based on the matchups. I know she can't go bot lane because our bot lane is way stronger than their bot lane. So she has to path to top side. So in this game, actually, I wouldn't even think about proxying. For me, my goal would be I'm going to do three, four wave crash, most likely three. And then once I do three wave crash, I'm going to invade and kill the, the, the Lilia or at least take out about a bunch of resources. So I wouldn't I wouldn't even be proxying this match. But let's say that uh, she was heading to bot side, right? Instead of she's instead of her, like she had like a play to do down there. What that would tell me is that I can actually proxy the fourth way. So it's like just data. Oh, the jungler is not going to be top side. We're good, right? Look, she's still doing that. She's taking a while, so. I can chill with it. He's chunked out the wave a good amount. So I'm not going to push it super, super quickly. I'm going to get a little bit of damage here and there. Yeah. Now he's going to he's gonna allow it. Like, he has to allow the next wave crash. He can't, he can't contest anymore. Yeah, he doesn't even have enough HP to do it. So on this one, we push really quickly. It looks like Lilia might be making a play down there, and if she is, that's then we might look for a proxy. So let's see. Okay, Lilia's down there. So now that we know that Lilia's down there, we look for proxy. See? Now the next wave is going to be a cannon wave, and that one takes longer to push. So we're going to just reset, get our item lead, come back, and then keep pushing. Because this one, this one takes a long time to push. Let's do that. Yo, what's up, Kato? Mm -mm -mm. So now we do the same thing. Go back over here. If he if he can't crash the wave in reverse, that's great for us. I'm gonna hold it for a little bit, and then when I force his TP and he comes back, then we start the proxy cycle again. How should I proceed? I should have stopped them. That's okay. Trimming the wave a little bit. I want him to W me here. They're having some like really weird plays mid lane. I want him to W me so that I can flash under my tower with his W. I'm gonna get level six here and I'm gonna go for a kill on him. For those who were lost. Oh, nice one. That's pretty nice by him. A little W there. Must be made. Right, let's push this next wave. He already TP'd because he had to push the wave, so we get to deny here. By the way, I'm definitely not playing like perfectly. I never wanna. I always wanna tell people that I'm making a lot of little mistakes in these little spots, but that comes from the fact that like I'm not like super super. Um, like I haven't extremely optimized it in this game. I just kind of let my my micro from uh, years of playing this game micro macro like just carry me. 
like in a lot of these spots I should be pushing the waves in a cleaner way. I should be having like different little like recall timings and things like that. So But this is honestly enough to get like top fifty, top ten in the ladder, doesn't really matter. Like solo queue so solo queue doesn't need you to optimize too much unless you're playing against like pro players every game. Shouldn't he be rushing Cleaver? Nah, because I'm I plan on just proxying him soon. Yeah, so now we're gonna go into a proxy. I'm gonna pop this thing first to see where Lily is at. I stopped the proxy because I don't have information where Lily is, and that's kind of annoying me. I think she went into our side of the jungle. Okay, so since I think she went into our side of the jungle, I'm gonna go back to my, my tower and just farm up the wave. What conflict awaits? How should I proceed? Looks like Lilia's up here because the the Braum movement, that little micro stutter he did upwards, makes him look like Lilia's here or here, one of these spots. So again, I'm gonna still play it safe. Because I was I was staring at the mini map in that moment. It's really really good to do that because it tells you where people are. Mm -hmm. He's hovering this side of the lane, so Lilia is either here. She's not bot side yet. She has to still be top side. Kill him, I think. Yep. I could have killed them anyway, like way earlier, but I was I didn't know where, where the Lilia was information wise, so yep. Oracle. But yeah, hopefully that um, me explaining like when I was proxying and not proxying was useful. If you notice, it's just based on the information they give you. If you don't have information, you don't you don't make the play. Will you say you look at the mini map like once every thirty seconds? No, it's not like that. It's based off of like if you're making a play at the moment. So here, for example, there is no play for me to do trade-wise. So now in this moment, see right now, there's nothing taking like any any mental strength, I guess, right? Like focus. So since there's nothing, I can look at the minimap for this time. And then the moment I go back into the minions here for one moment, I look at this and I'm not looking at the minimap. Enemy right? And then boom. we Like... In this situation, it's like, oh, I'm just gonna proxy him. I have free time. I look at the minimap again. See her down there, right? It's based off of like what's what you're doing in the game. So long I've wandered. So right here, for example, put my ward down, do all this, right? It's like, oh, I'm looking at the minimap. I'm looking at the minimap. Looking at the minimap. Look at the minimap, right? I see the Lilia. I see Talon getting information. Look at the minimap. Well, it's getting dove potentially, but the dive is against Rel. It's very unlikely that it works, so they probably get two kills here. Lilia is here. Let's put a ward down here. Okay, I'm looking. I saw that they were like around my top side. I'm not gonna proxy next wave. 
Nothing happens. It's like it's just info. Clear that. Walk away. We saw Lilia went to the top side. So I have to play according to the fact. See, so here I'm testing the Maokai. Maokai is sitting there like that. Tells me Lilia is here, here, or here. Every time I did that micro movement down like this, and he tries to walk up. If he walked up forward, she was here. Now he, she's not there anymore. Now she's doing this thing here, okay? Thing. Walk in, walk out, walk in, walk out. Maokai is here, walk in. So now I'm matching his movement with mine for the threat range. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so she's gone. And now he's hovering up. Which makes me think Lilia's not even thinking about ganking this guy. Now, now, my team's giving me some info. Might be coming up. No more hesitation. So a little bit of poke. Moving back now. Mm -hmm. My spirit is not lost. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? It's not worth it. Okay, we push. We're probably gonna get one more play. Force this TP out now. Mm -hmm. Lilia down there. Talon's there. I don't have to worry. I'm just gonna get this cannon. And now, boom, we're going to proxy again. Because we saw Lilia was heading to the bot side and we saw Talon is missing. So we're gonna get some info here. See him over there. Push proxy again. Mm -hmm. Get vision control. We're gonna go into proxy again. Billy is still down there. We don't have to worry about anything. Proxy this time, I'm gonna go deeper and I'm gonna take his top side jungle after I clear this. Yeah, you do, Bree. Yeah, you do. Might as well do it now. Oh, so that later in when I autopilot a game, at least you guys have this one for the people that need that. Okay, nothing here. Okay, so let's go a little deeper to create more tempo. What that means is that like if I if I proxy in this way, if I have more time to make a play across the map or even more time to farm their jungle, which is why you would want to do it from here. Sometimes you would even want to go into their base and take it. See, now I have more time. So now I can force this play here a little bit harder. Okay, good. Got his flash. Kind of unfortunate that he flashed in that moment, but it is what it is, though. Very nice. We'll play Laceration, my boy. So you see, all that time... I, ha I, I had so much time to make that play happen, only because I proxied that deep into their base. How should I proceed? An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. Yeah, so we notice that that's happening down there in the mid lane. That's fine. We push. We back up. No. We got one auto attack worth of uh, damage on that. I'm gonna move to this spot here in case the Lilia decides to like really go deep for a play here. Desperation play. Get City R boots. Go for this now. More City R. Get that. Another pink word. Repeat the cycle. I'm allowing that recall because I want him to leave. I want to get that tower. That, that recall was grief from him. If I stop him, he can clear the wave and I can't get tower. Your team has destroyed a turret. An enemy 
Okay, so there's a play happening. Our mid laner went to make a play, and I already pushed in, so now I'm gonna push. Mid laner take this tower out now, too. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. An enemy is on the Keep tempo going. Now, as we rotate back to top lane to catch that wave, I'm gonna clear these camps. Never mind, they're already clearing. Boom, let's go back up. Catch our win. Okay, Maokai TP. Kind of bad from him. Choose your own path. An ally has been slain. So long I've wandered. Reset here. Mm, no, we keep pushing actually. To keep tempo going because Dragon is up and they're probably gonna go for it. I would love to recall right now, but that would be, I think, a little grief. Yep, yeah, okay, was there. Let's keep pushing. I have to watch for Talon now. How should I proceed? I'm gonna reset here now in case they recall. They're probably all heading up here and get going for this wave can get me killed. Your team's getting smoked. Team is irrelevant. In League of Legends, you don't have teams. In League of Legends, you have yourself, and you maximize your gold income while outplaying people. You don't have teammates. Teammates are an illusion that if you focus on too much, will get you killed. An enemy has been slain. At least for solo queue. Again, remember, so solo queue and competitive play are completely different games. Lily is here. I fucked up my calm one. Yeah, the auto attack didn't go through. I fucked it up. <clears throat> she should have died there. You get into the two X here, better whatever. Yeah, yeah, I did. I played it a bunch, like the first four or five days of it being out. It's a really fun game. I'll definitely go in depth on that game when the game comes, when the the game officially releases and there's more characters. Thank you, Soki. Mm. I, I gotta keep pushing mid lane here.
Wow. Nice hold from from Brom. Setting. Burdens of the past. You remember when we went to IPAC so you could beat your ass? Uh, wait, did you put one today? I played against him yesterday. You're insane. Thank you, bro. Can I become your slave? Nah, man. I already got. I already got my editors, man. I got. I got them caged down there, man. Doing content. We haven't uploaded it yet, though. They're working really hard on it. Hmm. Need to be really careful here. Dude, I was I wasn't able to move for five seconds. Wow, five seconds is a long time in a MOBA. QSS angle I could do QSS, yeah, but I think I want to finish my Black Libra first. I think Laceration can go ham here, though. Laceration is about to get ultimate, so he's gonna wipe everyone out. If they stay. The Hydra was more for um, proxying earlier yeah, and sustain because Maokai does poke me a little bit every time I do that stuff. So it's like I needed I needed that life steal. Yeah. Learn from your mistakes. Oh my god. Woo! My fucking HP, bro. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go catch mid lane. She's a reindeer, sir. Not a horse.
Nice. Laceration, my goat, bro. My goat, my goat, my goat. Laceration is definitely the like the cleanest Z no, 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 for sure. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting the um, the Lilia running cross map behind me there. Let's do last item... Ma? That might be it. Wow. I'll go bot lane now. No last whisper of this game. You can't build last whisper and black cleaver together. My hands are stained. I'm okay with it. Okay, my ultimate has a really low cooldown, so no big deal.
I have it back up in 20, so. This is where like I'm using my body as like a tether range for like their entire enemy team now because there's no play being done here, right? There's nothing. So now it's like I need to stay within a range where like I won't be in danger, but I still put pressure just to like annoy them. Bearing up in 38. I disagree with this fight, so I'm not gonna go for it. The fight looks really awkward. Funny enough, if I had gone right away, we would have wiped them out. It just didn't look clean on my end. If I, if the fight looks like something that we would lose, I just don't go for it. I was I was wrong. I should have just initiated Hellhorn. It's okay. I'm still winning anyway. You kind of got you got you got to pick your um your choice. Like you you have to stick with your choice. You can't go back and forth. So. Mm -hmm. 